Hey guys, welcome to another Yakfish TV production. I'm your host, Robert Field. Today we're in North Texas and we're on a lake that I've been told is holding some monster bass. So I'm gonna launch the kayak, I'm gonna have a couple buddies in the boat, and we're gonna put these manly rods to the test and see if we can't catch us a few Texas giants. <laughs> Here we go. Well, not exactly the monster I'm out here to catch, but uh, been out here about 10 minutes. I'll take it. See if we can't uh, let this guy go upsize a little bit. So I'm working this little edge right here where there's wind pushing stuff past and on the side there's a little eddy where it's calm. A lot of times the bass will hang out there and wait for something to get pushed by trying to ambush its prey. Let's see if we can't get it to work. There we go. Fish on. Well, plan worked, but that is not what I'm looking for. So, idea was right, big fish just wasn't there. Let's throw it back in there, see if we can't find a bigger one. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Oh my! Oh, this is a big one. <laughs> what? <laughs> now that is a fish. That is what I'm out here to catch. Oh man, he hit it real soft. The smaller one's been tearing it up. He just barely tapped it. I did not know what I had on until he made that first run. Whoo! Oh yeah. He inhaled that worm. It's down there deep. Eight. Maybe a hair under eight. Oh man, what a fish. Went just under eight pounds, 30 minutes into the day. That's a good start if I've ever heard of one. For now, let's let this girl go. See if we can't get one bigger than that. Might be tough to do. Woo! So right now I'm using this raptor tail 10 and a half inch worm by Excite Baits. These things are killer. All the Excite Baits, their soft plastics float. So you imagine this guy's sitting on the bottom and his tail is just standing up in the air dancing like that. That's that action that's gonna entice a bite. So I'm basically just throwing it out, dragging it a little bit, stopping it, and then hop. And then I'll let it sit there for a second, and then hop, hop. And then every once in a while it's hopping like it's trying to get away, and that hop should entice a bite. Oh sh! Fish out! Fish out! No! 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 No way, dude! That was the biggest bass of my life. 
And I tried to muscle it out of there and I broke it off. That's what I get, hooked in the brush pile, tried to force it out of there, and it won. Okay, so we've all heard this story, right? The one that got away, it's always the biggest fish of your life. Well, for once, I've actually got proof. Let's cut to day two when we're fishing out of the boat, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Big It's a big Oh, God, it's a big Coming up. It's coming up. Oh, Woo! big fish. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Woo. Nice. All right, big fish. Oh, crap. <laughs> Look at this. He's got another worm in his mouth. Look at that. That's my worm. Hey. So you did hook a big fish yesterday. We just caught this big fish, and it's still got my worm in it from yesterday. <laughs> I knew I broke off on a good one. And there it is. Right ten in. and some change, man. Almost ten. ten and a quarter at least. Ten and a quarter. Yeah, you heard that right. That's a ten pound, four ounce bass that Terry just caught with my worm still lodged in his mouth. I was trying to act supportive and like I was happy for him, but I was a little bit bitter. Let's get back to day one and see if I can't redeem myself. Just got to retie, get another bait out there. kind of fish that came out here to catch. Woo. Oh, what a fight. I thought I lost it there trying to go for the net. Woo. Had to weed through the dinks a little bit, but they told me there were big ones out here. There's a solid fish right there, probably about six, six and a half pounds. Nice. Six and some change. All right, let this girl go. Woo. A good fish. Well, I didn't end up catching my first 10 pound bass on this trip, but I did catch some nice fish, and I'll always have that story of the one that got away.